Hello, friends and the family. How are you today? Today we're gonna talk about a footbath tradition. So, footbath um, in America, there are a lot of little footbath salons, um, usually run by Vietnamese people, of course. This is a little bit far from my topic. Um, giving people foot bath and they can feel free to do the business and earn people's respect. Actually, foot bath has quite some traditions, like when Jesus was talking to his disciples, he used foot bath their feet and and I had a dinner with them so nowadays during Easter a lot of churches still use the tradition to give young people foot bath um, there's another Chinese tradition of foot bath too and here comes a real story. Um, the, the high official of Chu, that was like 2000, 3000, 2000 something years ago um, in, a, in a country of Chu. Of course, at that time, China has a lot of countries. Um, it's like, six huge countries and three and, and many small countries. So country of Chu has a high official whose name is Qu Yuan. So Qu Yuan uh, wrote a lot of beautiful articles and he was very famous for um, giving the vices opinions to to his uh, to his emperor, and his emperor wouldn't listen to him. End up, he uh, the emperor fired him, and um, he went to uh, after he was fired. He was walking along the lake called Milo River and he said oh Milo River's water is clear I can wash my face in it Milo River's water is dirty after I stir it and I can wash my feet in it and after he washed his feet guess what he did he jumped into the river so that's the story of Qu Yuan. So after he jumped into the river, uh, local people felt so bad about it. So they dumped um, food into the into the lake so the fish wouldn't eat Qu Yuan's body. From then on, every year, lunar calendar, um, May 5th, they would dump food into the river. And not just ordinary food. The, um, actually, nowadays, people start to eating that food themselves instead of dumping them into the river. Not just ordinary river, they use the bamboo leaves, wrap them into, wrap the uh, sticky rice into bamboo leaves. When I was little, I ate that kind of food. It's called zongzi. And the ones that I loved the most was the um, ones that uh, has dates in there. They put 
three days and a little bit of sticky rice and you peel out those bamboo leaves and and my little zongs I would stick it into some powdered sugar or or crystallized sugar and it's so good and some zongs has um, um, uh, meat fill fillings um, most most what I ate was rice filling. It, it's good enough. Um, so, so in May, people always say that um, it's not a very fortunate month. So we gotta celebrate it. We we gotta eat, and um, actually this year the year 2020 is another guns year the last guns year for chinese is the year 1900 and that year uh the the allied army from um, from uh, great britain america France, Russia, uh, Germany, Japan, Italy, and Austria or Aust Australia invaded Beijing. That's another story. So this year is Guns Year again. So this year's double unfortunate, uh, according to Chinese tradition so celebrate 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 and wash your feet mm, let's go for a foot bath